Hello Aquarius, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. We're going to clarify the speed shuffle here for you. The overall energy for your reading is the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is Taurus energy. You're both very invested in each other. You both care about each other. You want the best. But you do want a relationship. In the recent past, we have Virgo energy. You may have been in separation. You may have not spoken to your person for a long time. That is Virgo energy, searching for answers, you know, really looking inside. It's a spiritual journey. The energy that's going on right now between you is the Nine of Cups. Both of you would love to see each other, to make love, to laugh, to have a good meal together, to have a night of sensuality and fun. The way your person sees the path forward in this relationship or how they view it, they have their back turned, as you can see, to all of this. They're looking into their future and they feel as though they have to make a head over heart decision. That's the Libra Queen. How they view you as somebody who might be upset with them right now. Now, they don't think it's terrible upset, but it, they do feel as though you'd have very good reason for being distressed over a situation in which they put you in competition with another person. So that is Leo energy. We see the eight, excuse me, the three of pentacles here. They want to collaborate. They very much want to work things out with you. They feel as though they would like to spend a lot of time with you. Again, pentacles are investment in the connection. How do they view the way forward? They view you as their soulmate, Gemini energy. The two of you might be very different. You could be from different cultures, different countries. But if not, you're very, very different in the way you view life. The lover's card is Gemini. It's ruled by Gemini, and it's all about making choices. But they think that you are their soulmate. They want to have time with you. What's hidden in the energy between the two of you is that... The Seven of Swords card is a card of Sneaky Pete. I call that my Sneaky Pete cards. Could be Sneaky Priscilla card, but I really view this as a card in which there's secrecy. There's something very secret about your relationship. It's very hidden, and it isn't positive. That Seven of Swords card is a sense of betrayal, typically, or one person wanting to win at all costs. The energy that Spirit is recommending you bring into this reading is passionate new beginning. The possibilities are very, Spirit views the possibilities as very positive between the two of you. And your outcome card is the Fool card. So Aquarius, we look at this outcome card. That is your Fool energy. The beginning, you know, the wisdom of Aquarius to take the leap of faith. It's really, I love this energy for you with that Ace of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So let's dig into this reading here. This is a four-part reading. This is Love Relationship with Clarifiers. It will be followed with timestamps by your best course of action. The next timestamp will be your helps and your hindrances. And your final timestamp will be what your person likes best about you. So why do we have the Seven of Pentacles here? Why are you both invested? The Innocence of Pentacles. We have a page here. Both of you really want to have a conversation. Both of you really want to invest in the relationship. We, the, you, the two of you really want to come back together again from everything that I see. So what we look here, we see the Nine of Wands that is a feeling of burden, a feeling that there's a lot of work to do, but both of you have fire in your belly to push through for a victory in this relationship. Why do we have the Virgo Hermit here in the recent past as your mutual energy? The Ace of Swords, having a great deal of clarity about what's happened between the two of you, searching for truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, wanting very much to speak your truth to one another. Oh my gosh, the Naked Heart card. This is the only card in all of my tarot decks that has the number 22. It is Twin Flame. It is 1111. What we're seeing here is a divine relationship. You both know that there is something really special. You know that there is intuitively that this is a relationship like no other that you've ever had or will have because twin flames, 
you only have one twin flame in your life soulmates come and go but twin flames do twin flames might go but you only get one so the nine of cups shows me that both of you want to eat drink be merry this is the fairy godfather the fairy mother godmother of the zodiac it's wish fulfillment your wish is granted why is it here the empress card the card of motherhood the card of venus the beauty of pure love venus is a card of pure love it's what rules the fifth house of romance in terms of relationship um we see Venus as the creator. It's Leo energy as the fifth house, but the planet Venus is there to give birth to creative ideas, to give birth to a romance that can change into Empress energy. So Taurus energy, everything that you value most. The innocence of wands. Both of you are wanting to throw caution to the winds. You both know that you have to stay grounded and balanced. You both know that you want to have a, a passionate new opportunity together. The desire to talk is very strong between the two of you. Why do we have the five of wands for the way your person sees you? Why do they see you as being upset and probably angry at them? Spirit of Swords, King of Swords, Aquarius Energy, there you are in your reading. They feel as though you have, and we have the King and Queen of Swords. Your person feels as though they've given you reason to be angry, and that naturally you would be angry. We see them putting you in a competitive situation in which you didn't have a choice, and they practically burned the relationship or the house down, so to speak, the, you know, the love between you. They nearly destroyed it. They made a head-over-heart decision. In their heart space, they want to have an opportunity. That is Virgo energy. Moving slowly forward and very methodically to solve the problems between the two of you. To collaborate in a relationship. Why do we have the lover's card here? Why is the lover's card here? The lover's card used to be called the choice. And the five of swords said that somebody did something pretty ugly. Your person looks as though they didn't choose you. The five of swords and seven of swords are two of the most negative cards in the deck. It's somebody who took it upon themselves to win at all costs. And it looks as though they did not choose you. They put you in some sort of very, very painful with swords, competitive situation. They made a decision about a passionate beginning that had nothing to do with love. It had everything to do with being logical and, and locking their heart in a cage. Why is the Seven of Swords here? We have the Hermit card. The Hermit card is now repeating itself in the reading. The two of you are in separation. Your person, you are both curious about each other. You're trying to spy on each other. There may be secret communication coming through. The Seven of Swords energy is Aquarius energy, as is the Fool card. So it looks as though you would like to talk to your person, Aquarius. You would like some clarity and you don't know if you're going to get it. Your person is definitely spying on you. Why do we have the Ace of Wands? Why is Spirit recommending that you throw caution to the winds? The Two of Wands, okay. So Spirit is simply saying that if this person returns, and it looks like they will, with the uh, Fool card, uh, to listen to them, to hear them out. We get the Heart of Wands, the Queen of Wands energy is the energy of your outcome, which is a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. So it would say that in this situation, when we have the Queen of Wands, and we also have the Queen of Swords, whenever we have two queens, we have to look at the possibility of a situation that could be third party, or at least something that was very painful for you. You are coming up, Aquarius, as the Queen of Wands, as the temptress, the person who would really, you know, have the desire to really start again. It's Aries energy, so a new beginning. 
the Fool card, Aquarius energy. So what we see here is the possibility, a tremendously big opportunity, possibility for the two of you to heal the old wounds, to come together. Again, I think this is very much a twin flame reading. So let's go ahead and look and see what else we have for the tough cards here. Let's further clarify this beautiful, beautiful twin flame card, the sun card, the happiest card in the deck. The beetle is always about transformation. We can even see what almost looks like a little ring there. But we see that the two of you are so happy together. What is it about this relationship that makes the two of you happy? You're able to throw caution to the winds, give up your burdens. It's a time of escape for both of you. The sensuality, the nurturing, the deep love that you have for one another with that Empress energy helps you let go of your burdens, helps you release them and feel happy. Why else do we have the page, this um, Queen of Swords energy here? The universe, a world card. Something is coming to an end in your person's life. They're going to have to make a head over heart decision to fulfill a cycle in their life in which they've been negative with you. Why do we have them feeling as though they put you in a competitive situation? The innocence of cups. Again, they want that new beginning with you. The page of cups. They're coming in to make an offer. Now, you don't know whether you're going to take it or not. They're moving slowly. We get this Virgo energy, and we get the devil energy. They are obsessed with having you back in their life. They are in it. They do bring toxic energy, though, into this situation because the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, very toxic. Why is the devil card here? The justice card Okay, so now it's pretty unmistakable. When we get the justice card, it is typically legal paperwork. It can be to get married with a marriage license. It can be to, uh, as well as any legal paperwork, including divorce or initiation of divorce. So your person very much sees, sorry about that. Your person very much sees that they would have to uh, initiate some sort of legal paperwork to separate, to end a relationship, to leave a lease agreement or the purchase of a home that they may have made with another to come to you. So there's that clarity. Your person knows that they hurt you, but I'm not really liking this energy to clarify the fact that they know they did you, quote unquote, did you dirty. And they, they have their head in the clouds. They're still fantasizing about you. They still want to be with you. This is not unusual for a twin flame relationship. That seven of cups is very much Scorpio energy. They're thinking about the ending, how they want to begin with you again. But they have their head in the clouds. They feel as though they could go the distance with you. The Ten of Coins, they feel as though you are marriage material, that if they had to do it over again, that they would choose a very significant, and that's, that's the energy of Virgo, doing the work sun, uh, Monday through Sunday. The Eight of Wands, they want to come very passionately in your direction. Your person feels very strongly that they have been missing you. They've been alone. They feel very lonely without you, Aquarius. What do we see here for the Two of Wands? What is this decision they have to make? When we get the Ace plus the Two, we have the Three of Wands. Spirit is saying that the two of you have already chosen each other and that the two of you have to make this decision. Two of Coins, juggling two options. So your person is going to have to be very deliberate. They're going to have to make that clear cut move in your direction. Why is the Two of Coins here? We have the Strength card. Good, okay. <clears throat> the Strength card is the energy of Leo. Uh, this person has a fire in their belly to come towards you and make things right. Why do we have the Heart of Wands, the Queen of Wands energy is how this is coming about. This is oftentimes thought of as the other woman. So if your person married somebody else or they were married to somebody else, you are the reason that there would be a death of that relationship. So 
So it does speak to the fact that they want a transformation with you and not only a new beginning, but they want to make a commitment to you. They want to transform you. The Eight of Swords says that nothing is going to happen right away. There, This person is in this energy of uh, self-imposed restrictions, Six of Cups, but they want a reunion with you. So let's look and see what your best course of action is in this relationship. What energy do you need to look at in terms of what's going on? Best course of action for our Aquarius friends when your person approaches you. You see clearly now. Okay. Well, you know exactly what the truth is. So you, that's always a good place. It's a good place to know is the absolute truth. We have the energy of White Raven Spirit. Trust in the magic. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. So that's a magician energy. It really says that you have all the tools to overcome the obstacles. Bat Spirit. Oh, wow. A rebirth is assured okay so now that you know <laughs> the lay of the land here i like that for you let's see what else spirit can tell us about the energy that's going to come in so it looks like you don't really have to take action a lot you have to pay attention and just stay very well seated in your power Keep your authority and your strength here in this situation. Watching clouds lie back, rest and relax. Okay, so one more card here. And we see faraway places get ready for new horizons. So keep living the good life that you're living. Do what you need to do. Uh, looks like spirit is going to handle the situation. Let's look and see what your helps and hindrances are in terms of the relationship. What are the helps and hindrances for our beautiful Aquarius friends? Let's see, we have the tall tale. Okay, your person told you some pretty far-fetched things, and so they're going to have to come in. So you have to watch for this, because this person clearly told lies. The Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords in that pile clearly says that your person did not operate with integrity with you. So again, very twin flamey. Willing release. You do have to be willing to release this person if they can't come clean. If they prove themselves to be unworthy, it speaks to the fact that spirit is calling on you to release them. Exposed and revealed. You must demand the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And so that is your help and hindrance in the situation. Let's see what the energy is about what they like best about you. Let's see when we use a crow tarot. What does your person like best about you? Let's see what they like best about you. Everything is time stamped, so you can look at the time stamps if you like. Three of cups, they see you as one of their best friends. They see you as somebody with whom they can have joyfulness, laughter. They can trust you. They adore you. The Six of Wands, they see you as very powerful, very successful, as a person who's victorious in your own life. The Queen of Swords, they see you in the energy of demanding the highest level of integrity. The Libra Queen, Judge Judy, the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. They respect you for that. They see you as a truth teller, a truth seeker. The Three of Wands, they see you as their person. They feel as though you're the ship that arrived in the harbor with all the love on board that they could ever want. We see the card of the Knight of Wands. They think you are a sexy, sexy person. They like the way you move. They like the way you are lighthearted. You bring a lot of laughter, a lot of romance, a lot of passion into the relationship. Page of Cups, they think you're very sweet, very kind, very loving. The Three of Coins, they see you as a person with whom they can have a good life, collaborate with. Somebody who can say, honey, let's go to the paint store. Let's do something together. Let's create something together. Let's make magic together. It's really all about collaborating well in life. The Page of Swords, they see you as someone who is very active, that you tell the truth, the whole truth. Again, nothing but the truth. That you're always learning something new, that you have a fascination with learning. 
and we have the Ten of Wands. You know how to release a burden. You know how to let go. They see you as a very powerful person who's able to live the good life no matter what happens to you, no matter what. They see you as highly resilient. Aquarius, that is your reading for today. Please send me your love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me what you think. If this was helpful or not, I hope it was. Hope to see you in another video. Thanks, Aquarius. Bye-bye.